Hi, I'm Ron Boyles, founder and CEO of Greenbridge Society and Greenbridge Health. Welcome to this Greenbridge Minute. Are you considering medical cannabis, but you're just not sure? I wanna tell you a little bit about how Greenbridge came about. I've been in bad health for most of my adult life, a broken back and a dozen surgeries, tons of different prescriptions to help with pain and a host of other health issues. My part-time job was going to the doctors. It never seemed that I improved and my quality of life went downhill fast. I was depressed that I wasn't able to do much of anything. Most of the time I was so drugged up on pain meds and benzos that I was lucky to know my name. I had no quality of life. My health became much worse after a string of back and shoulder surgeries. And then one day I succumbed to heart failure and went unresponsive. I was fortunate that it happened in my doctor's office, and it's a fun story in itself. I lost my career, family, and friends over my bad health and over medication. When I came out of the hospital from that ordeal, I knew I was going to change things for myself and hopefully for others. I felt I had to take control of my health. I walked into my doctor's office some 10 months later and told them I wasn't coming back and that I was no longer taking the medications they had prescribed over the years around a dozen of them I took daily, all day, every day. Then when I went home, I cleaned out my medicine cabinet and I got rid of it all. I had spent nearly 20 years on morphine, lots of that and benzos that I took for spasms. I was a little concerned about withdrawing from the opiates, but figured I could deal with it for a couple days. What I didn't anticipate was that after almost 20 years on morphine and benzos, those things take a couple days to even have the withdrawal symptoms kick in. I told my doctor at the time that I was gonna use cannabis to help with getting off the opiates, that I even had a bag of weed at home. They begged me to go to rehab. I remember smoking so much weed those first few days that I thought I would cough up my lungs. It helped a little, but not enough. It was still illegal in Pennsylvania and I didn't have a good source and who knows what I was smoking. I packed up my RV and I drove to Colorado in the hopes of stocking up and coming home. It was legal there. When I left, I was in full detox and getting worse. I'm surprised I made it there. I really wanted my health back without drugs. My first trip to a dispensary was a recreational one near Colorado Springs. I was literally on my hands and knees, throwing up, crapping my pants, hadn't showered in days. I was in bad shape and it took everything I had to make it there. As I was crawling to the door, there were a few guys standing outside talking. They took one look at me and came to see if I needed help. The one was the owner of the dispensary. They asked me what my problem was and I quickly explained my predicament. I told them I was determined to get myself through this opiate withdrawal using cannabis. He said that as a recreational dispensary, he doesn't have the products that were going to get me out of this. The man took me to his house and loaded me up with RSO, edibles, and some really good flour. He walked me through a couple ways to use the RSO, how to get more if I needed it, how to make my own. I ended up staying there for a couple of months healing myself. What I quickly learned was that I knew very little about cannabis after all. This plant I was going to use to get myself off of opiates was also helping in ways I didn't expect. I mean, I had used cannabis all my life. If I knew it could do what it does now years ago, my life would have been much different. I felt so clear headed and I know that's not what you expect to hear about cannabis. I began dropping weight. I began to feel motivated to get healthy. The results were coming in so quick that I was just amazed by it all. By the time I left Colorado, I dropped from 360 pounds to just under 300 for the first time in my adult life. I was able to not only forget about the morphine, but effectively better manage my pain without it. I was able to get around better. I started looking forward to new days rather than dreading them. I was literally so impressed with my results and what cannabis was doing for me, I felt compelled to help others. <laughs> well, more than compelled, I suppose. I know a lot of people who are addicted to opiates. You probably do too. At the time, there literally was nothing available but more drugs. Suboxone, methadone. Look, if you want to get off opiates, it doesn't have to be that way. I joined advocacy groups and began pushing legislators for medical marijuana here in PA. 
I felt it was that important to have it available to help people struggling with over-medication. I began helping people use cannabis effectively. It became my life's mission to help. My health had stripped me of everything but my will to pull myself out and bring as many with me as I can to cross that bridge. Greenbridge is about this part of my life. Had I not had someone come to help me and to teach me, even a little, I would never have made it. I would have walked in the dispensary and bought some weed and some edibles. Probably wouldn't have worked, and I probably would have ended up in a hospital or rehab somewhere in Colorado, and I wouldn't be talking to you today about cannabis. A chance meeting with someone com with compassion and knowledge changed how my journey started and led me to success. A small business owner turned away a sale and helped me out for free like a VIP. He could have just let me go in the door and none of this would be happening. I wouldn't be talking to you right now. See how that works? I learned a lot about this plant that I've always loved and how much it can help. How could I not have known all this? How can I not help others? You may be a long time user and you may have never used cannabis. What makes it difficult to consider in using medical cannabis is just your perception of cannabis. It's something you develop over a lifetime. It's either cool to you or it's not, but you have to look at it in a new light. Even as someone who was always passionate about cannabis, it was when I learned the science of it, why we feel good when we use it, what makes work for different health issues, what I call learning to dance with cannabis as you learn what to take and how to take it, how it's reacting with your body. Look, it's an amazing science. It's an amazing way to better your health and treat your health issues. It's not about smoking pot. There is science to it and it does work. It's not illegal drug use. You won't overdose. It's not going to hurt you. There's a lot of anxiety that goes along with making that decision to get your medical marijuana card. You might be worried about what your friends and family say. How will your employer feel about it? What if you struggle with technology? What if you don't wanna be stoned? Please know that we are here to help you. Like the guy who helped me, I wanna help you before you have to crawl into the dispensary and make bad decisions. I wanna show you how incredibly healing cannabis can be. I wanna make your success and your access to it easy. I wanna support you on your journey. I wanna make sure you have accurate information. Look, getting your card is very easy. It's pushing a button on a computer. Knowing what to do when you have the card is the most important aspect of this program and very often ignored. That's where the real work comes in, where Greenbridge is best. Cannabis saved my life, but it's deeper than that. It's a hope for humanity. I know how I live being all medicated in pain compared to how I live now. I know how people think growing up during prohibition and what you were told to just say no, it's a difficult concept. When you accept the science and you approach cannabis as a healthy healing plant, you will change your life. I remember thinking, wow, look what cannabis did. Look what I did using cannabis. Look how great this is. And now I just stand back in awe of the many thousands of people with the same success every day. It's self-help care that's fun and that's okay. It makes it even better. And with Greenbridge, you have all the resources you could possibly need to make your new journey successful. Our staff of medical experts can quickly get you certified and into the program. We offer the best personal care pharmacist services to help you choose wisely and economically. Our team is expert on the state's portal system and the programs used by dispensaries. We want you to have an unencumbered entrance into the program and pro provide you with the best chance of success without you having to break the bank to do so. Having a guide to take you across that green bridge is vital to your success. If you're on the fence and you have questions, please reach out. We're happy to help you in any way. Look, thanks for joining me. I'm Ron Boyles, founder of Greenbridge. If you're looking to get certified, please visit my website, greenbridgesociety.com. It's a quick form to fill out. Um, if you're looking to, to have some help with your medication, please visit greenbridgehealth.com. That's our clinical side. You can schedule a personal one-on-one -on -one consultation with our pharmacist. They're some of the best in the industry. We encourage that, it saves you money. But if you have any other questions about the program at all, 
please feel free to reach out and get your, your good answers, accurate answers from the people who know and who care. Again, I'm Ron Boyles. Thank you and have a great day.